I'm Dana Baumeister, and I am one of the lead instructors for the Biomimicry Professional Program and the Biomimicry Specialist Program offered by Biomimicry 3.8. I'm also the program director for the newly established programs in biomimicry at Arizona State University, as well as co-director of the Biomimicry Center at ASU. So I want to take this opportunity here today to use this whiteboard and help explain um, what these programs are all about and how they're all interrelated. So first let me start with the ASU programs. We have two new programs that we're offering at ASU. One is a graduate certificate in biomimicry and this graduate certificate is 15 credits of content. We're also offering the first in the world uh, a Master's of Science in Biomimicry, um, and that is being offered through ASU as well, and that's a 30 credit program. Now the cool thing about these two programs is that they are entirely online, which means you can learn about biomimicry, engage in the content, engage with the community all virtually from the comfort of your, your own home or whatever works for you in your place and schedule. Now, these two programs share a couple of things in common. The first is that they have the same common set of required courses. So the first of these courses is what we call Biomimicry 501, right? So think of it as a 101 course, except we're at the graduate level. And this course is the essentials of biomimicry. And it is a seven and a half week long course, half a semester, and it's for one credit. And this is the prerequisite course. You need to take this. It gives you sort of a, a sampler of all the other courses and other things that are part of the biomimicry training program. So even if you're not enrolled in the certificate um, or the master's, this is actually a great way to just get started and find out if this is a good fit for you. We also have three core, core courses that we believe are fundamental to any biomimicry practice. And of course, these are called 502, 503, and 504. And these three courses are all four credits each, so four credits each. And one is on biomimicry thinking, which is the methodology, the actual steps and tools that you need to become a biomimicry practitioner. Another one is called life's principles. And we believe that these are fundamental to understanding the role of biomimicry, especially in sustainability. So we spend a good four credits um, of content on that. And then the last one, because it is called biomimicry, and therefore there's some biology involved, and we believe everybody needs to have some basics in biology, we teach a class called Biology Taught Functionally. And it's a very different way of learning about biology, um, and it makes it very accessible and applicable to becoming a biomimicry practitioner. So these courses are required courses, and they are in common with uh, both of these programs. So you need to take them no matter what, whether you're doing one or the other. Now the certificate also asks that you take um, and participate in sort of a, a cumulative kind of practicum experience that demonstrates your knowledge and how you might plan on applying it to your particular career. Um, the certificate is really geared towards people who have a career, uh, maybe architecture, it may be communications, it may be business, and you want to bring biomimicry to it. So you take this basic content, all the while learning about different ways in which you could apply it, and then you pull it all together in a practicum course that's called the Virtual Design Lab. Now, this is a two-credit course, and it culminates your experience for the certificate. Of course, the master's has a lot more courses and a lot more content. The master's is really designed for people who want biomimicry to be their career, to uh, be in, in helpful in facilitating the practice of biomimicry wherever they may uh, want to work with it, to learn how to communicate, to be able to stand up on stage, to teach, um, these all fit in this category of what the, the master's is ultimately about. Now, I'm not going to talk about all of the sub-courses here, but I want to bring up two important pieces. One is, is that there is a collection of electives. Um, and these electives 
are geared towards what you might be most interested in. Um, and for the electives, you're, you're going to have to choose a good chunk of them. Um, and uh, I think it's about 13 credits that you need to choose. And these 13 credits include courses like biomimicry and design, biomimicry and engineering. Maybe you're interested in the human nature connection piece of biomimicry, or you'd like skills work specifically on communication or facilitation. So there's a collection of courses in here uh, for you to choose from, and you'll choose and assemble your program accordingly. Now, just like the certificate, there is a uh, need to express how you're applying these tools. And so there's a practicum uh, portfolio over here. Uh, and that portfolio has to have three different practicums in it. We offer four, so you choose three out of the four that work for you. Um, some are based on business case studies. Some are based on really getting into the biology. Uh, one is based on place and learning about the genius of place. And then there's also one that's like the virtual design lab here where you customize it to make it work for you. So you'll get six credits out of this category. So 619, and then you've got uh, 1213. Nope. Okay, this is 11 credits. See, it gets a little confusing. So 11 credits of electives. And then up here you have 13 credits that you pull together, and then you've got six credits of the portfolio. So this side over here is your masters, and this blue box and this and the orange is all the masters, and then over here you have the blue box and the orange which comprise the certificate. All right? So those are all done online. And of course, you might be asking yourself, but wait a minute, isn't biomimicry about learning from nature, which requires getting outside? And you're exactly right. And we did not want to lose that component. And so what we are continuing to do at Biomimicry 3.8 is to offer those in-person sessions, as well as our certification programs, the Biomimicry Specialist Program and the Biomimicry Professional Program. So let's see how they all fit in here with this particular piece. So the Biomimicry Specialist Program, again, is geared towards people who want to have a career and they want to bring biomimicry to that career. The architect that designs uh, using nature as inspiration. The um, industrial designer that does the same. Or the uh, engineer who brings it to wastewater treatment. Lots of different ways that you can think about that. Well, we believe that a biomimicry specialist, in addition to having the content that they get from ASU, should have some real in-person experiences in the natural world. So we have two immersion workshops. And these we offer periodically throughout the year. Um, and you'll need to check our website to find out when the next one is, the, is coming for you. And these are five-day workshops. And each of these immersions um, will give you some experience uh, looking at nature in a new way, hands-on. One is focused on uh, which we call discovering nature's genius. And it's very biology oriented, um, learning in the field from the incredible strategies that nature applies. And then the other one is focused on the methodology. It's called the biomimicry thinking. And it may or may not have, depending on which workshop you attend, some sort of emphasis. So um, the biomimicry thinking, uh, for example, we just conducted one on social innovation. Um, but some of them are more generalized. So you'll need to take one of each of these. And if you want the biomimicry specialist title, then here's what it looks like. You need to earn your graduate certificate and go to two of these courses. So a biomimicry specialist then is this collection right here, your BDL, and these two courses in person. That's how you earn your biomimicry specialist. Now, it is no longer a cohort-based model. The first three years that we taught it, it was a cohort-based, 
but this is more um, uh, personalized and modularized to make it a little bit more accessible to meet your timelines and when it works for you. Don't be surprised though if you see some people that you have in common both online with you in your in-person sessions. So let's talk about the Biomimicry Professional Program. Now that is our, our highest uh, certification. And this, we have uh, three cohorts already that have gone through this program. And these cohorts uh, all believe very strongly in the value of being as part of a cohort. And we didn't want to lose that. Um, so the Biomimicry Professional Program actually requires six in-person sessions. And you take all six of these as a cohort. So you all start up in the first one and you go through this, the six together. And that spans over two years, um, that particular program. This particular program goes to six different biological habitats uh, around the world. We've been to places as uh, far as Costa Rica. We go up to Canada. Um, this year we'll finish the third cohort in Botswana. We're planning on places like probably India, maybe New Zealand for the next cohort. We haven't quite figured out the full details yet. So now, if you want to enroll and be part of the Biomimicry Professional Program, there is an application process. Because it is a cohort base, um, there's only 20 people that participate in this program at a time. And um, there's a heavy leadership component, so not just learning the content around biomimicry and experiencing nature in place, but also developing very, very strong leadership skills. So this biomimicry professional program is designed for people who want to become leaders in biomimicry. So what do you need to take if you want to be a biomimicry professional? Well, it's not just going to these six in-person sessions. You will also be earning your master's in biomimicry as part of participating in this program. So what you have to do is you enroll in the master's and you apply and eventually, hopefully, enroll in the Biomimicry Professional Program. So this part looks like taking, again, all of these four pieces here, and your electives, and your portfolio, and participating in these six in-person sessions, and that's how you earn your Biomimicry Professional Certification. So, I'm hoping this clarifies and gives you some sense of what might be the best fit for you. Again, these pieces in the middle are all done virtually and online. And you can go to the websites and find out on the calendar when these different courses are offered and figure out what's the best fit for you. You do have to apply for this program and this program. The graduate certificate has sort of a rolling application. There's five application periods uh, throughout the year. And the master's has three application periods. Um, the next one that's coming up is October 1st. And then there'll be another one for uh, October 1st for the spring, uh, next spring. So please check these application processes out at ASU. Uh, definitely use your enrollment coach. They're there to help you figure out how all of those pieces fit together, how to get all of your paperwork in. And then we will be announcing um, an application process for the Biomimicry Professional Program um, late, later this year. And then for the Biomimicry Specialist, we'll also have a space where you just register your, your intent to go for that. There's not an application process for this piece. You just say this is what you're planning on doing and you stitch together your programs. So hopefully this little video helps make more sense out of how this process works and welcome to the world of biomimicry. We hope you'll join us.